Uh, let's see. So this wreckage is still floating around right now. I don't know if we're going to be getting into any fights right now. Uh, how am I looking on money? No. I need to, I need to head for this thing first. All right, so we're going to... Are we in? Yeah. We're going at max speed. I'm going to get myself over to the, the ore thing. We're going to sell that. Uh, we're going to sell all of our iron. I might want to consider updating the ship a little bit, but I'm not entirely sure. Um... We're gonna get a scrap laser, just just a laser that I can uh, scrap. Uh, you know the occasional derelict hulk as we go by. We're gonna run into a number of them, and if I can if I can use that to get myself uh, components and raw resources and stuff, that's gonna be useful. Cause yeah, I'm I'm gonna be the hyena of the galaxy, ish. Anyway, uh, let's see. Dock over here. I definitely need to put some more thrusters on this thing. I think what I'll do is. Uh, let's see. I think what I'll probably do is... Let's just sell 7,000. 7,000? There we go. I must be docked at the station trade. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably just extend the front and do some other things. I'll figure that out as I go along. Okay. Yeah, my number one turret has the option to auto-fire. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to how to do that yet. Like, I know I can control it, but it doesn't look like I have a button specifically that, um... I, I don't have a button that specifically makes it auto-fire. Also, I have yet to run into a, a serious problem. With, you know, just firing all of my items automatically. What's this? Insurance plan permissions ex... Insurance... Plan. Okay, ship value, insurance price, oof. Yeah, I'll leave that for later. Shift and right click it. Oh. Auto fire. Okay. That's how we do that. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, the last thing we want to do is just just get a basic salvage laser that I can swap in and out uh, whenever we come across a derelict hulk. It'd be nice if I could actually attach the guns and just uh, activate and de like it deactivate whenever whenever we run into a situation I crash into this guy if I play this wrong uh can I back up I can back up oh wait yeah I gotta I gotta come up to one of these docks here there we go. Yeah, they never really explained, uh, <laughs> really anything in this. Okay, so we want... Oh, do they not have the... Ah, oh, this sucks. So we actually don't have a salvage anything here. There's triple chain gun, quad bolter, quad bolter, chain gun, chain gun, and more iron mining turrets. I, I'm leaning for picking up the iron, uh, the iron mining turret, just because we have the money for it, just barely. And... That seems probably the best. The efficiency is 26. We'll be able to chew through astero asteroids. At the same time... Do we... Yeah, we really do not have the... Uh... What's this do? Oh, right. I got a... I got an armed turret control set. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, these don't, these don't seem that useful. So, instead of sticking around here, let's pull up the map. Where can we go? What about here? Enter coordinates. Let's just leave the system find new things to do. It doesn't seem like this one's getting uh, particularly uh, attacked very often. And instead, let's just go new places. See if there's new asteroids to mine out. And do some other stuff. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see. Off an adventure, absolutely. That's great. Sure, we can help each other out. Anything happening around here? 200 years ago, there was a cataclysmic catastrophe. Almost ripped our entire galaxy apart. Everyone calls it the event. What happened? People don't know for sure. But legend has it that an unsurmountable ring of torn hyperspace fabric appeared around the center of the galaxy. And now our hyperspace engines can't pass it to get to the center, meaning it's cut off from the rest of the galaxy. 
Since the event, nobody's managed to get near the, the center of the galaxy. Worst part is, the event also spawned hyperspace rifts throughout the galaxy, which makes navigation difficult. Then there's Zolston. Let's go on. Nobody knows who they are, and they don't answer any intercom calls. When you get close to them, they start attacking. They've been around since the event, and some people say they were created by it. But there's also a bright side. Together with the event, a new metallic element called Avorion has appeared. I've heard rumors that there's lots and lots of it in the center. Apparently, it's the perfect element for building spaceships. It's robust and light, and its energy properties are crazy. But so far, nobody's ever found it, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to fly to the center of the galaxy. I'm going to overcome the barrier. Then I'll mine all the Avorian I can and get rich. Oh, well, good luck. All right, how do you want to overcome the barrier? Not sure yet. There will be a way. Thank you. All right, well, good luck. See you later, dude. Oh, here, have this. It's an upgrade for your ship. It allows you to scan for hidden sectors. Ooh. You'll have to install it on your ship menu uh, for it to work, but you can only install upgrades into a real ship. It doesn't work on drones or fighters. Green blips on your galaxy map are sectors. You can find interesting stuff. There's also a lot of things on your radar that you can't pick up. With this upgrade, you'll be able to scan for those hidden secrets. They'll show up as a yellow blip on your map. Thank you. Let's see. Tips. The closer we get to the center of the galaxy, the better... Uh, resources we'll find. Okay. Titanium, iron sucks. Wary of no man's space around here. Pirate leader terrorizes everyone who stares too far. Okay, like to leave now. See you later, dude. That's all we need to know. And everything else I'm probably going to learn from you guys in the audience. Woo, this is a pretty planet. It rotates, too. Alright, so what is, what is this? Sheep ranch. Ooh. We got an equipment dock. What do you got? It does have an iron it does have iron salvaging turrets. Okay, that's a good sign. Uh, what else do we have around here? Hopefully that thing ain't going anywhere. A lot of a lot of trees. A lot of farms and stuff. Yeah, I'll have to look into intergalactic trading. Okay, good. We do have a an ore uh, a place to sell ore. Where's that asteroid field? Cuz I'm probably just going to go mine it. It was somewhere around here. There it is. Yeah, so we'll we'll work on that in a bit. I don't know if we're going to get attacked. But I'll explore around and some other things. I'm just hoping we can find some uh, basic resources to mine. Really, I should probably look into trading or something. Being a space miner is fun and all, but it's gonna it's probably gonna get really dull really, really fast. And I'd like to branch out uh to mining and cargo. I just gotta figure out proper goods. Well, it looks like there's a lot of iron around here at the very least. Okay, so here's the question. Will this thing automatically start firing? Oh, no, the, uh... Is it? It is auto-firing. Not that there's really a reason why I should have it not be on auto-firing. Eventually, I'd like to have a bunch of, uh, mining lasers that will auto-fire. That actually would probably be incredibly useful. For right now, I don't mind having something that I can intentionally mine with. Because, yeah, I, ideally, I'd like to get a, uh, ooh, you can get secondary turrets that are not, um, you can get secondary turrets that let you, uh, or, like, there's a difference between arm turrets and otherwise. Um, but what we could do, wow, this is a big asteroid. What we could do is have, you know, an armed ship with a bunch of, uh, automated mining lasers. That could work really well. All right. Might as well actually focus in on this thing and see what we can do. But yeah, effectively really crazy mining lasers that let me just drive by mine asteroids. I think, do we know if, uh, do we know if you can have multiple of, uh, wow, this thing is dense. Oh, well, looks like I'm going to be rife with iron by the time I'm done with this, so I should be able to afford some things. Because yeah, th this is the densest asteroid I've ever seen. Um, because it's effectively heavily layered in, a, in on itself. I guess I should have actually bought a, uh, a better mining laser. Okay, you can make an AI-controlled mining ship. 
That would be great. Because, yeah, if I could have a mining ship that I just send into an asteroid field and collect my shit from occasionally, I'll have to I'll have to look into that. Right now, though, obviously, gotta do it by hand. You'll need armed turrets. Beware of using AI-controlled ships. The AI is very dumb. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, it's control. Okay. Well, that thing auto-mines. I wanted to take a look at you again. Okay, buy sell turrets. Uh, it sells one double mining turret, but that's... I don't think that's any better or worse than what I've already got. And I assume these are... Are they active or inactive? I have no idea. Oh, this is going to be a lot of iron. It's just going to take a while. How do those... Lasers make square holes. Shh. It's not worth asking. It'd be really nice if this was all. Uh, this is one of those where you could actually like kind of chain reaction, destroy different bits. Yeah, I really should have actually gotten that that other laser from the other system. Unfortunately, the uh, stock rotates. And honestly, we should probably look into trade good transportation. I don't know. Uh, seeing as some of you guys uh, clearly jump around has already played this. Uh, any advice on how to make a lot of money quick? Because right now, mining is kind of my go-to just because it's reliable and easy. But I'm not against uh, looking into new ventures for the time being. Okay, short burst of subspace. Signals. Because, I mean, one way or another, this thing's going to be... We're getting... Like, by the time we're gonna do- we're gonna be done with this, uh, we're gonna have, like, half a billion iron. I'm betting 20k-ish. Might not be quite as much. It'll be there. If- if I weren't recording this for a series, this would be the point where I'd actually go walk away for a little while. And let the auto-mining lasers just go. Actually, yeah. I think what I might start doing is getting, um, auto-mining lasers and then pop out into my drone to help. That would make a lot of sense. Ooh, that'd be... That'd actually be really effective. Okay, green element is... Uh, can get you shields. When you start fighting pirates, you can sell the loot for a lot of money. Okay, yeah, I figured as much. Finding a specific item factory, such as jewelry or such, and finding a trading post that buys said items. Oh. Yeah, that would actually make a lot of sense. So I, th I think what I might do is, um... I assume factories have, like, limited production, so I have to come back to them later. So I'll, I'll try and keep track of that. I really... Isn't there, like, a trading module that you can get that, um, that will, like, show you prices? It'd be great if there was, a. Uh... Oh, pirates are attacking the sector. That's actually really good for me. As, as long as they don't get near me, we're good. Because what I can do is, uh, we'll go get that salvaging laser. Okay, yeah, so there's blue. I don't know what blue does, but there's those two red ones over there. Um, we're going to wait until they're dead, and we're going to go... Uh, we're going to wait until they're dead. Is my... Oh, yeah, my number one is not... All right, here's what I'm going to do. Nah. I'll just make sure it can shoot. Uh, we're going to go get that salvage thing in a bit, and we're going to go... Uh, we're gonna go salvage those corpses, because I can only assume those sh those ships on the, uh... Those ships fighting are probably going to be worth a f fair pickle if I can salvage them down into bits. But yeah, this is crazy. Let's see. This looks like No Man's Sky. Am I gonna continue with No Man's Sky? Uh, I'm gonna continue with No Man's Sky later. I like No Man's Sky, but it's, um... I like No Man's Sky, but there wasn't enough content at the time for me to be interested in playing more of it. 
If No Man's Sky functioned closer to this, I think I'd be down. Um, but it doesn't. Um, so, like, what's probably going to happen is I, I will play No Man's Sky again the next time they come up with a major patch. Because right now, that that just seems like the, the most optimum path. Plus, we've got a billion other interesting games like this coming out in the meantime that actually are generating content. But yes, I, I do plan on returning to that game as soon as they update it once again. I think also I'm going to keep the the auto laser controlled for the time being. I'll probably control it, uh, or I'll probably turn it back on to auto. Uh, maybe when all of them are auto, so I can just park myself in front of an asteroid and watch them work. But right now, this is so much easier. A group of alien ships warped in. I, I think we're going to be in this system for a little while. A, I've got well over 20,000. I was assuming this we'd be done with this thing by now, but like, damn. Um, so I'm going to be able to make it at least 100... I'm going to have at least 100k by the time I'm done with this asteroid and we can get some other things. Um, but what we're going to do is... Uh, probably just stick around here. Because it sounds like this place is kind of a hotbed for attacks. And that means... I'm just going to hang out and blast, or not blast, uh, salvage pirates and aliens whenever they die. And why does Wander have infinite fuel? I think, I think just everybody has infinite fuel. I just have really high power generation, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Honestly, having to go get resources so you can mine and stuff. If this worked like uh if this worked like No Man's Sky where you had to continually refuel all of your weapons and stuff like that. Ugh. Am I still playing Astroneer? We decided to give Astroneer a couple of months to develop. Uh the multiplayer was kind of particularly broken. And uh as much as I liked the game and want to go back to it, it just it needed some time. Um but I will be going back to Astroneer. Uh as soon as I kind of have free time, as soon as, like, Batbeard is around again, because Batbeard's been kind of... Batbeard's been kind of antisocial trying to get through all of Mass Effect, and honestly, can't blame him. I mean, I'm pretty antisocial. I play a lot of solo stuff without my friends. I play a lot of social stuff, I don't know. Um, but... Yeah, so Astroneer's going to be one that I want to go back to. Uh, I've been playing Wild 8 with Killer Bits and a couple other, uh... Europeans, uh, which is super fun, but that's probably going to be one of those where I do, like, a partial playthrough and then I wait for the game to finish, just because. Good god, this thing is huge. And maybe I should go see if I can get some more lasers. We might be able to fit another, uh, turret or two on, as well. Like, at this, at this point we're, well, I don't know, we're starting to chew through the interiors. Also, turning uh, my undirected la laser back onto directed has made a serious, uh, has made like some serious progress here. I don't know, but yeah, I, there's a lot of open world sandboxy games, and this is one of them, where they're so early access that they kind of imply like a short partial playthrough and then maybe a complete playthrough later on. This is definitely going to be one of those where I'm probably going to play it alone now. And then I'm going to wait for it to come out, like, for realsies, and then probably bug my friends. Because the alternative is a partial playthrough with people who are like, this is dull, and then, you know, that's just kind of the end of it. Let's see, have I ever gone skiing before? I used to, I kind of suck at skiing, and I also have a wrist injury, so me going skiing or snowboarding is super dangerous. Because uh, I could very well, like, destroy my hand. Uh, I will admit, ever ever since I started doing gaming as a professional hobby... Uh, I Yeah, I guess professional hobby is probably the, the best way to describe uh, my career, effectively. But, like, if I mess my wrist up, it it's going to be, like, seriously difficult to do a... Uh, to do Let's Playing. And so I would prefer to just be kind of a homebody. You know, I like going out on walks. I like going out, uh, trying out new foods, reading books, writing, stuff like that. But something that would, like, actually jeopardize my livelihood. Not so interested in doing. Not immediately, anyway. 
eventually I'll probably be a little bit more, um... Uh, eventually I'll probably be a little bit more adventurous. But honestly, even then, skiing is not something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, I always find it's really uncomfortable. Part of the other reason why I don't like skiing, I actually totally forgot about this part. I have really wide feet. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever looked into, uh, uh, like, shoe sizes. But my... I have really wide feet to the point where they're actually quintuple... Quintuple E wide? They don't make shoes that big. They barely make uh, quadruple E wide. Which sucks, for me especially, because that means I have to squeeze my feet into bad shoes. Imagine trying to do that with ski boots. Ugh, sucks. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we're good. Um, let's see. Oh, what's this? Military station. Electronic bulletin board. 12 war robots. Yeah, that's not good. Good. Also, looking at it now, they're still fighting up there. Which means... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go peek. We're gonna have to go that way anyway, uh, to sell off some of this iron. I'm just gonna buy a basic, uh... I'm just gonna buy a basic, uh, salvage laser. And we're gonna go kind of pick at these corpses. We all, might also want to look into, uh, there's a factory there and some other things. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much can't fit my feet into ski boots or snowboard boots without hurting myself really badly. Um, you get your shoes from a company called King Size. Neat. Yeah, I get, I get, uh, I get boots from, um, Keen. Keen boots are really wide for whatever reason. Uh, and I really appreciate that, because more or less means my, my little toes are fine. Uh, but yeah, prior to this, prior to actually, like, dealing with this, my little toes are actually, like, curling under my feet, and it's bad. And my easy solution is, just go around barefoot all the time. Oh, man, toe shoes. Toe shoes were a blessing. Unfortunately, my, uh, the rubber, the in internal rubber on my, uh, toe shoes is kind of rotted out. So I'm gonna need to get a new set at some point. Okay, so we wanna buy, sell turrets. We wanna get, is there a better salvaging turret? There is, okay. Yeah, we'll get the rare iron salvaging one for speed. What about upgrades? Hyperspace. Ooh, increases jump range. Useful. And also some more turret control things. I'd like to get a, a better one, but for now, meh. Okay, so let's break away from that. Are they done fighting? Looks like they're done fighting around here. So let's go figure out where those corpses are. It looks like we've got a couple hanging out. Let's go see what kind of good things I can get. Cause yeah, I'm I'm not opposed to picking picking bits out of the corpses of my They're not even my enemies, honestly. They're just people that I've kind of been around. Okay, we've got a yeah, at some point I'd like to look into distress signals and like checking them out. But eh. Let's see, does this game have a plot? I think it does have a plot, it's just not much. Ish. Wasn't there wasn't there like an item-y looking thing? I must have missed it. Well, we want to slow down anyway. And wander the space vulture. Oh, you know it. Okay, so let's take that off. Uh let's see. Where is it? Chain gun turret, iron salvaging turret. Uh, let's see, is it P? It is P. Okay, iron salvaging turret is three. Okay, so we've got we've got this. You look like you're fair game. Looks like we're getting titanium from this thing. Not exactly what I call a whole heck of a lot. This is the... This is the iron salvaging turret, right? Yeah, looks like it is. Wow. It does not do nearly as much damage as I thought. Wow, we are getting, like, nothing off of this. At least it blows up quick. Oh, maybe... Maybe we hit a good part there. 
It's still not netting me nearly as much as I thought it would be. I mean, I've gotten like 150 titanium for the, for this. I really wish it was easier to aim. It'd be nice if there was almost like a first person view or something that you could get into. Or get your turrets to aim properly. Well, it's okay. I can I I'll move my camera as soon as we're done here. I bet there is a proper way to aim these things around. Yeah, maybe once we're up against uh harder enemies with uh, rare resources used. That's probably better. Okay. That there. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what all of these parts are, but I figure I'll just blast them and hope hope some of them are valuable. This one's pretty tough, whatever it was. Okay, what's that? Wreckage. All right, let's let's move our camera back up. Let's see. Can you land on a planet in this game? Not that I know of. Like, I think you can touch the planet. I just don't think it's worth it. Okay, I think the salvaging turret has independent targeting. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, thank you. Oh, we did get something good off of it. We are getting good things. Oh, this is handy. Okay, let's uh let's fly by these for a hot second. Not gonna Not gonna fire at this mining laser. It's focused in on something. It's actually a lot of dead ship parts around here. Well, I'm gonna just float around, make the most of what I got, what I can get. There we go. Oh. Interesting. I've gained some cargo off of this. I guess because it's salvaged off of a wreck as opposed to floating in space, it's mine. Nice. Okay. Turret bugs that sometimes. What's it aiming at? Oh, it's aiming at this thing? Okay, there we go. It does bug out weird sometimes. Well, it's fine. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to Space Vulture for a little while. I I know this is probably not exactly the most uh, thrilling thing that I could do. But at the same time, like, we've already netted ourselves some pretty neat little bits. And I might be able to, like... Oh, yeah, yeah see, there's another ship there. Let's turn it off, turn it back in, on again. Let's see if I can convince it to fire at the right thing. Ah! Yeah, so I... Oh, I can fire mining lasers at these. Doesn't net me... Net... Uh, it doesn't net me much, though. Come on. Really? Wait, can I do it? Attack target. Oh, sweet! I can tell it to attack target. And this way it will go after the uh, nearby wreckage that I select instead. That's actually a fair bit better. Unless it does that. Son of a bitch. Alright. There we go. Let's try switching it to auto fire. Okay. This is a fair bit more finicky than I thought it was going to be. 
All right, I want to say there was another fairly big... Yeah, there it is. A couple of fairly big parts of the ship just hanging out over here. Maybe some of these. Like this one specifically. This looks pretty... Uh... This looks pretty close to what we're trying to go for here. Maybe? Alright, come on. Dumb nuts. Well, I guess if we just switch it between auto fire and not, it'll figure its shit out. Uh, well, well, it's going. Let's check our cargo. So we've got some steel. Stock, volume. Don't pick up stolen cargo yet. So we'll keep with that. Uh, pick up behavior. Is this... Okay, so I, I don't really have a whole lot of cargo space. I'll have to work on that. What do we get? Energy to shield converter. Upgrade kits. A radar upgrade. That's deep scan. Scanner upgrade. Ooh! We got an improved trading system. Display prices of goods. Price ratios of goods. View trading offers of all stations in the sector. I'll throw that on for the time being. Yeah, at some point I'll have to um, mess around. I don't, I don't even know what these trading systems necessarily do. But, whatever. Hey, we've got some more sizable ship parts here. Oh, it's these, it's these teeny little... Okay. Those teeny little, uh, bars are what seem to be the, almost the biggest issue here. The biggest offender. Because my lasers get really focused on them. Well, luckily I can just switch it back between, um, attack and situational. And will generally figure itself out. 